The Wallace and Ladmo Show, weekday mornings at 7. Hey, paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. We're with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sick is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. So hang on to your seat, get ready for adventure and remarkable beats. You'll meet Koopas and Troopas, the princess and the others. Hanging with the plumbers, you'll be hooked on the brothers and the friends. My bishop four at the queen six. Uh, no, 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 because if I do that, then I won't be able to move this one here. But then again, if I move that one here, then I can move this one here. Yo, where is it? Well, of course, if oh. I move this one here, yes. Is there not a block out in the Bronx you should be taking care of? Well, I have a move here. I know, but we haven't got all day. Okay, here it is. That's it? That's my move. After all that planning, that's your move? That's it. I finally got you, Edison. <laughs> that's it? That's it. That's your move? That's it. Checkmate! <laughs> I just beat you there, look at that. One of these checkmate. days, I am going to get... I know, I see checkmate. I see... Look at that. Oh, sure. Just keep eating. I mean, after all, let nothing bother that beautiful girlish figure of yours. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, hi, Squirt. Who are you? A sad-eyed orphan. No parents, no brothers, no sisters. Just me and my shadow. Oh. What a sad story. Come in, come in, sweetheart. Oh, please, come out of my house. Listen, Squirt, you don't have to have a name, do you? Patty, the sad-eyed orphan. Oh. Mario, Mario, come here, we have a guest. This is my brother, Mario. Mario, this is Patty, the sad-eyed orphan. Nice to meet you, Patty, the sad-eyed orphan. Where you from? Well, I've been drifting for about six months, you know, living off the land. Life is tough when you don't have any parents to love and take care of you. <laughs> Nobody even cares that today is my birthday. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wipe away those tears, little one. I thought you the best birthday party you've ever seen. You mean it? With a birthday cake and party hats and noisemakers and a VCR and a high definition color TV monitor? Hey, that's that's the hot kid. I mean, we're just plumbers. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Patty, Patty. We'll see what we can do. Grab your party hats and hooters and stay tuned. I'm the creator of Ultra Games for Nintendo, like Metal Gear, where you're a commando searching for deadly weapons. Defender of the Crown, with strategic castle sieges, raids and destroyers, and skip or die in five rad events that pitch you against a friend or bionic Lester. So check out Ultra Games. Remember, I'm never farther than your TV. and incredible silliness. Just pick up your marbles first, and you win. You won! Call the Plumber, new from Tiger Games. Batteries not included. Invite your best friend over for a nice game of Gnip Gnop. <laughs> Pop the balls through the holes, and you win! From Tiger Games. 
Excuse me. No, we haven't met someplace before. I'm not into sushi and I don't have a sign. Fine. Could you pass me the peanuts? Kate and Alley, weekdays at 5.30, here on TV5. Let's talk about pressure and sex. When you think you shouldn't, you get pressure from your friends telling you that you should. Call Planned Parenthood. They can help relieve the pressure. Catch yourself before you end up with one big mess. Now, let's get back to our sad-eyed story. Yo, 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 it's the Mario Brothers. The plumbing's the game. Found the secret water. Don't we're working on the drain. Lend the princess a hand. In the mushroom land. Turn the action with the plumbers. You'll be hooked on the brothers. Now, evil Cooper and his troopers are up to misbehaving. They kidnap the princess mushroom land. Famous. Abusing and confusing. Everybody discovers they can't help. Log number 2237. We were in a land of damsels in distress and knights in shining armor, the legendary Cramelot. I sure hope Mervyn the magician can help me free my people from the evil King Koopa. We don't even know if this guy's for real or not. <gasps> hey, that buzzer's for real. Must be a beehive nearby. And where there's bees, there's raviolis smothered in honey. <gasps> Princess, wait till you see my neato magic cave and my stick with that crystal ball. It was King Koopa who sent the Bezo bandits after you. Clamus here in, in Koopalot? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Koopa's here in Cramelot? I mean, uh, she. Let's split this place. What's that crud Koopa doing here? I'll show you. Just cross your fingers that my aerial is hooked up. Cooper moved into his castle and found himself king. Now I can spread my evil meanness all over Cramelot. <laughs> that Cooper's a clog in the drain pipe of happiness. Is there anything we can do to help? Yep. I looked it up in the magician's handbook. One special person can bounce Koopa off his throne, but first, he must pass a test no man has ever passed before. Whoever is to free our land must first pull the golden plunger from the sacred sink of Cramelot. Cash City! That plunger's made of solid gold! One thing about Cramelot, we're not chintzy. Whoever pulls out that plunger will be crowned our real king and become powerful enough to drive Koopa away. Murphy, old pal, your problems are solved. I've been unclogging sinks since I was knee-high to a tortellini. Stand back, gang. The sink hasn't been built that Mario can't unclog. Hey! Nice plumbing hero guy. Dust off the crown and call out the town. Camelot has a new king! So, Mario thinks he's king of Camelot. That impudent little faucet fixer! How dare he! There's only one king of Camelot! And who is that? Ah, uh, can you give me a hint? He's sitting right here on this throne! Hmm. Well, gee, maybe you better get off him. Oh? Yes, you royal Koopaness. You're the most kingliest Koopa that ever cooped in Cramelot. It's time to teach that pasta-eating plumber and his friends not to crown the Koopa. 
Down to Koopa Troopa attack! Yay! Isn't this exciting, Mario? We're gonna crown you king! Before you crown me, how about a celebration snack? I could really go for a mozzarella milkshake! <laughs> Don't celebrate yet, you sewer scrubbing bubbin' losers! <gasps> it's King Koopa and his army of Koopa Troopers! <gasps> oh no! We're trapped! I'll save us! <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't do that if you valued a princess's beauty! <laughs> Give me that plunger. Oh? When I get through with you, lasagna-loving losers, you'll wish you never came to Kremelot. <laughs> now we never get back to Brooklyn. Take it easy, Luigi. Things could be worse. We're trapped in a dungeon about to be executed. How could things be any worse? Well, for one thing, the ceiling could lower until it flattens us like a pizza. <laughs> Very uncool, dudes. The ceiling is lowering. Or the room could fill with water until we all drown like rats. Huh? We've got to get out of here. Hey, I can think of another way things could be worse. Mario, please! Don't say another word! <laughs> don't go away, we'll start crying. Oh, Popeye! I love your parrot! Aha! If you were mine, Olive would love me. What? Olive! I got to get me parrot back! Popeye! Your spinach! And the spinach! I want three Quaker apples and cinnamon oatmeal! Here, Popeye! Instant Quaker oatmeal is part of me balanced breakfast. Okay, Pluto. So nobody better steal me parrot or me instant Quaker oatmeal. Uh, Popeye wants a Quaker. This rare footage of the subspecies Jocus popularis was obtained by our courageous cameraman at great personal risk. It provides us the opportunity to observe at close range their bizarre behavior. Notice the telltale markings, such as the colorful bruises, and of course, the Levi's jeans. They tend to roam in packs, so use caution. They're wild creatures. Is he talking about us? You better believe it. It's time to make things shrink. Just say the magic word. Shrinking it! Shrinking it, so let's make them shrink. Color them in, cut them out. Then get mom to pop them in the oven. They shrink in just three minutes. Shrinky dink, say so let's make them shrink. Shrinky dink from Milk Bradley. Weekday mornings at 7 on TV5. <laughs> it's been 40 years now that TV5 has shared the holidays with Arizona families. May your memories of this holiday season be as cherished as those from years past. Season's greetings from all of us at KPHO TV 5. <laughs> Thousands of babies could be saved every year from choking or other breathing emergencies. If only they came with instructions. Please learn American Red Cross Infant and Child CPR. Now let's get back to our sad-eyed story. Marvin, where have you been? Sorry, I had to buy new batteries for my magic staff. You wouldn't believe those lines at the checkout counter. Never mind, Dad. 
Just get us out of here before we turn into mush macaroni. is the forest of perpetual night and terrible dangers. Whoa! Look, over there! There's a hand coming out of the water, and it's holding a plumber snake. That's no ordinary plumber snake. That's Excalibur, the mightiest tool of good deeds in all the realm. has made you the most powerful crusader in all of Gramelon. Congratulations, kiddo. You must now face Koopa and drive him from the land. Leon, Mervyn, with this magic plumber snake, I'm not Koopa for a loop. Green, good. 
good for nothing. Dress. You pasta brain plumbers have foiled my plans again. That's the way the meatball bounces. Then, as the old saying goes, he who coops and runs away lives to coop another day. He's escaping into a warp zone. <laughs> Miserable minestrone, the coopers got away again. Yes, but Cremelot's seen the last of him. Mario, thanks to you and your brave buddies, Koopa has been chased from Cremelot. There was nothing. Nothing? It was plum fantastic. And Cremelot's people want you to stay here and be the king. King? I always wanted to be king. I accept. I crown you Royal Mario. Hey, what's this thing? A new exercise machine. Whoever becomes king of Cramelot must be trim as a lion. No more pasta for you. Uh, I'm a second thought, to Murphy, old pal. I don't think I'm cut out to be king. Here, Arrivederci, King Mervis. <laughs> <laughs> I love the colors. Here we go, Lee. Just sort of do it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uncle Mario, could I possibly get some more popcorn? Sure, Patty, as soon as I blow up this balloon. I want it now. Or I'll start crying. Little Mario. She's uh, kind of fresh for a side-eyed orphan, isn't she? Yeah, those are the biggest little sad eyes I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. I got it, I got it. Andy, there you are. Your mother and I have been worried sick about you. Uh, we gave it the office. My arms are tired. Forget about it. <laughs> okay. And I want to see what the next Legend of Zelda is about. You got it. This is the Triforce of Wisdom, Link. The evil wizard Ganon has the Triforce of Power. Whoever gets both Triforces will rule this land forever. You must help me, Link. Hey, for you, Zelda, anything. Again. I may never whistle again, period. Pillify. Excuse me, Princess. If I'd known you were coming, I'd have asked the Marvins to sweep up before I sapped them. There were moblins in here? Mother and father, forget yeah. about it. Patty said she was an orphan. An orphan? Well, that's a new one. Last week she was telling people we were lost in space. <laughs> oh, are you having a party for festive? Well, you know, it was supposed to be a birthday party, a surprise party for Patty. You know, the uh, little sad-eyed orphan who never had a birthday party before? Oh, that's terrible. Patty! Let's not waste any more of these kind plumbers' time, dear. Patty! Patty, you get here this instant! Young lady, when we get home, you are going to your room till the end of the century. Who are you? My pre-orphan parents told me never to talk to strangers. Oh, you know very well who we are. Now, how could you do such a cruel thing like this to Mario and Luigi? Now, apologize at once. Sorry, Luigi. 
Luigi. Sorry, Mario. Ah, that's all right, Patty. Say, listen, we still got all the decorations up, right? Plenty of cake and ice cream. And some expensive presents in somewhere? Why don't we have a party and celebrate a happy family reunion, huh? Please, Dad, it's got to last me until the end of the century. Well... Okay. All right, I love parties. We're having birthdays. Let's party! Let's party. Let's party. Let's party. Let's party. Let's party. Don't touch that sad eye dial. We'll be right back. Oh, new teddy -o. Uh, Dad, there's a certain way to eat those teddy -o shapes. <laughs> Never eat those first. Boy, the bear face is next. Mm hmm. Dad, I'm warning you, it just swallowed the teddy o bear shapes last. Very funny. I'm gonna go read the paper. Your teddy bear spaghetti, you can eat with a spoon. Something's wrong with your mother. New teddy o Fun shapes, spaghetti o <gasps> We're into cool fun. That's why we're into Cool Times Barbie. Cool Times Barbie's into being cool. She's got the hottest clothes that she's ever had. Cool Times Barbie, you're round. We're into Barbie. Eat so separately. It's what she's got. She looks so cool as she goes. The trunk can close. The Barbie 57 Chevy. We're into Barbie. Each sold separately, you put car together. <laughs>